Hi guys, how are you doing? This is from Tech Century, and last year Apple introduced the fifth generation of the iPad with a new name, so it's now called the iPad Air. Now it's still fairly early in this year, but I still want to take a first look with you guys at what we can expect from the second generation of the iPad Air and the new iPad Mini with Retina display. So let's get started after the intro. Now the first feature is something that a lot of people already expected from the first generation of the iPad Air and that's Touch ID. So the fingerprint scanner on the iPhone 5S was successfully introduced last year and it was very successful since then and there haven't really been too many issues going on so it seems like the sensor doesn't only work in the labs but also in the real world so this seems to be a feature that Apple can easily add also to the iPad Air and iPad Mini with Retina display and of course this is also a really nice security feature that Apple could really advertise and push the new iPad mini and new iPad Air forward with. So it's really likely that we also get Touch ID on the tablets and for security of course this is also very nice. Now the second new feature will likely be the A8 processor. Now we've seen the A7 which was one of the very first 64-bit mobile chips on the iPhone 5S as well as also on the iPad Air and also the iPad mini with retina display and I still expect the A8 to be a dual core processor and even though we've already seen octa-core processors on Android devices the A7 at the time of the release actually basically blew away everything that was on the market and easily matched everything in terms of performance. So I'm pretty sure that we still get a dual core processor, but again, we can basically expect this to match the performance of any other chip out there. For example, like the Snapdragon 801 quad core chip from Qualcomm. And so performance should definitely be no issue. And as every year, we should also see a very nice improved graphics performance, which is definitely something that Apple has a very strong history on mobile devices with. Now the last new feature is a little bit hidden. Now if you take a look at just any iPad, whether it's an iPad Air or the first generation of the iPad, you see that there's a little gap between the display and the glass that's covering the display. Now we've already seen Apple laminating displays to the glass, for example on the Retina MacBook Pro or also on the new iMac, and it's a feature that we're probably going to see also on the new iPad Air. Now there have actually been a couple of leaks showing pictures already with the display laminated on glass, so there are a couple of benefits to this technology. First off, of course, the gap disappears, and this means that we get better viewing angles and of course also less reflections. Now less reflections is definitely a big feature, especially for a device like an iPad, that you're likely also going to use outside, so less reflections is always good. Of course, better viewing angles is always a good thing as well and then last but certainly not least this will also result in a thinner device now don't take my word for granted that we will see an even thinner ipad air this year but definitely apple will save some space and they might just make the ipad air thinner maybe in two years i don't really see them doing this this year especially after the major redesign from the ipad 4 to the ipad air so it just seems like apple will actually implement the laminated display this year but to actually make the device thinner as well is something that we'll probably have to wait a while till we see this. So these are the features that we can likely expect on the new generation of the iPad Air as well as also on the iPad mini with retina display. Now if you ask me what I really want to see on the new iPad, then there's actually only one thing, and that's that Apple finally kills off the 16 gigabyte storage option. I think storage prices have come down so much that we really need to see the 32 gigabyte being the entry level configuration, especially since we now also have the option of a 128 gigabyte iPad, and I think it's finally time to ditch the 16 gigabyte, because especially with such a nice retina display with a high resolution, Games and movies just take up a lot of space and 16 gigabyte is just way too outdated. So yes, Apple is known for making a high profit on the devices and it would definitely cost them a little bit of money to just raise the entry capacity to 32 gigs. But this is really something that I want to see above anything else. And of course the AA Touch ID and also the laminated display are a really nice bonus on top of that. But let's just hope Apple kills off the 16 gigabytes of storage because I'm just so sick of it. So let me know in the comment section down below what you think of these new features. Do you think we will see all of them or maybe only a few of them? And what do you really want to see in the new generation? Maybe also the storage option of 32 gigabytes being standard or maybe something completely different that I didn't think about. I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say in the comment section down below. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. See you next time. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to subscribe to the channel, make sure to click the annotation next to this video or also click next or previous to check out another video of ours 
Thanks for watching. See you next time.